Hi, it's Peter here. Skylum has just released a beta version of their new AI-based image editing software, Luminar Neo. And before we get into the stuff that the beta has, a disclaimer. This software was provided to me and they also gave me the registration key for making this video. And But of course, they have not seen this video before, nor do they say what to say in my, in my videos. Everything that I say is based on me using a short time Luminar Neo, AI-based Luminar Neo. But let's dive in. The features that I'm going to talk about is uh, the Relight AI, the Erase Tool AI, and, or the AI-based Erase Tool. And then, of course, I'm very interested in seeing how good it is in noise reduction, because that is, has been something that other software companies have been working quite a bit, like DxO Lab and Topaz. But we have to remember that this is a beta version, so everything that I show you is in beta state and the final version will be released in February 2022. And I will have some links for you to if you want to test this, but later about that. Since it's a beta, some of the tools might work a bit differently and the interface is familiar from Luminar AI, but n not all the tools are there yet. As you see from the top, you don't have the templates. You know, there's a lot of missing still. Basically, this is the way it's going to look. What's good about it is that the workflow is quite similar to what it is in Luminar AI. So if you have used Luminar AI, this is very familiar to you. And I think that's a good thing. It's it's easy to switch if you if you decide to get the new Luminar Neo. Now let's first look at the noise reduction feature on Luminar Neo. This is going to be a bit tough job because this image was made with XZ2 Olympus camera from nine years back. It was a camera from 2012. And I made this image in downtown Helsinki a couple of weeks ago and I used ISO 800. And let's see how good the image is after noise reduction with Luminar Neo. But as you can see from this, it looks a bit plasticky. So this is not the best noise reduction or there are better options for noise reduction than Luminar Neo beta. Remember, it's beta. It might get better in the future, but right now it, uh, it's no match for, for other uh, image editing software when it comes to noise reduction. But they've never really advertised it as it a noise reduction software, but I hope that they will make that better because it's always good if you could use only one software for everything so that you don't have to go to other software. That's always a, a bit clumsy workflow if you have to hop on and use different softwares, but we'll see how that evolves when, when the actual software is finalized. Relight AI is an interesting tool because light and shadows are one of the most important ingredients in a good image because a image is 2D, but when you add light and shadows, it becomes 3D. That's one way of making image interesting and 3D. So you have depth, you have foreground, the mid middle part, and then you have the background. And that's not only done with different uh, depth of field, but it's also done with light and shadow. And also the color of light, the warmth and the, and the coolness of light makes also the image look 3D. And this is where a real light AI comes into hand or is a handy tool because you can adjust the light in the front and in the back. And then you can also adjust the warmth of the light in different parts of the image. Of course, this can be done with Lightroom, for example, but it's a lot harder job to do. This is a lot easier, just a slider and it does it automatically and you can adjust the depth if if the default depth is not okay the way it does it will make a depth map depth map of the image and then it will treat the different parts of the image a bit differently this is an interesting tool and most likely when i use luminar neo i will use this tool because this is something that i quite often do to my images and that's another good thing about Luminar AI, Luminar, not Luminar AI, well, also that, but Luminar Neo is that it does the things that a photographer most likely will do anyways. It's not some gimmicks. Of course, sky replacement is a bit of a gimmick, which I'm not going to cover this time. But many of the tools that they have, the AI based tools, are things that we do anyways. So that's, I think, is a, is a good part. So they're not, not really gimmicks, even though you, you might think that AI is something, you know, that you do stuff that you wouldn't do otherwise. But that's not the case. Before we get into the AI-based erase tool, let's look what kind of an offer Skylum has for Luminar Neo right now. Here you can see the offers. For 69 euros, you will get Luminar Neo and three packs of templates. With 98, you will get also Luminar AI. What is 
great about all this that there is a 30-day money-back guarantee which starts when you actually get Luminar Neo. So if you buy it now and then you get the software somewhere around February 2022, you have a month to test it. And if you don't like it, you get your money back. So there's actually no risk. This offer is valid until 23rd of December 2021. I will put a link in the description of this video. They are affiliate links. So I get a small commission if you decide to buy, but remember you don't buy you don't buy you don't pay any extra. So it's a win-win situation. You get a great software to test and I will get a small commission. So win-win. But let's get back into the tools and let's see how the erase tool, the AI-based erase tool works. There is the familiar brush tool, which is called Healing Brush in other softwares. And, and as you can see, it works really nice like it's supposed to. This is nothing special. The Powerline Eraser AI is interesting. It automatically erases power lines from your images. And look at this image that I took yesterday. There are power lines and a buildings behind. Let's see how good it does. Just click a button and voila, look at this. Perfectly removed power lines. There are no problems with the details in the house, in the in the buildings. Just works nicely. And this is really interesting. And of course, some might think that this is too much manipulation when you take something out. But if I want to present this image to someone, the power lines, who cares? If it's a documentary of the scene, then this would not be okay. But it's not. It's just an image that I want wanted to take because it's an interesting perspective of these new buildings that they are building close downtown Helsinki. This was made with the 40 to 150 millimeter with the two time teleconverter. So I took this image quite far away. And I think the Powerline AI or the Power... How do... How, I don't know. AI... No, it's the Powerline Eraser AI or something like that, what they call it. And I think it's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm really looking forward to using this, this tool in Luminar Neo in the future. And Luminar Neo also uses AI for dust removal. If you use an Olympus camera, you know that dust is not a problem. So this is something that I might not use that much. Let's talk shortly about what AI means in image editing. It's a big thing. Lightroom introduced AI in the latest uh, update. And that also works really nice. I might make a video about that. But there is a one big, big difference. I've used Luminar AI for portraits because, of course, I do the basic uh, portrait retouch, which is about the, the routine. I smoothen the skin just a bit and, you know, remove blemishes and stuff like that. And, and sometimes might whiten the teeth a bit, you know, just to make it more natural and try not to overdo it. And I can do that in Lightroom. But the Biggest difference is that with Luminar AI, I can make a preset or template and do it with one click. And it will copy all that information to every image or every portrait that I've retouched or want to retouch. In Lightroom, I have to whiten the teeth by hand. It doesn't recognize them. I can separate the, the subject from the background now. And that's nice because that, then it's easier to, to adjust the, the luminosity between background and the front if, if there is something that I want to do about that. But then when I copy this, I have to refresh every image so that it can recognize the background from the uh, subject. And if I do some teeth whitening, I have to paint it on every image. But with Luminar AI and most likely with Luminar AI, I can do it with one click and then another click, then it's in, uh, applied to all the images. And that is a huge time saver. And there is some more videos about Luminar software. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.